Yeah guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. Um, today's job is we're actually starting quite a big project on this one. I'll, um, it's the first time I've been here. It used to be a, a care home and they're turning it into a children's home. So they've literally just walked out. There's everything he's stripping out. We've got to strip out all the plumbing. We've got to uh, rejig all the plumbing. I'll show you anyway. I've not had a proper look at the specification, but all, I, I do quite a few of these kids homes for this company. So I know roughly what what the crack is but it needs, just needs to work out the layout and stuff it's all it's all been spec so i just need to get the drawings out and have a look but i'll quickly show you what we've got the lads have already been in for a couple of days just stripping some of the loose stuff out we're doing away with all the en suites in the kids home they don't want en suites so all the walls are being jigged around uh, everything's being split up we're actually forming an extra bedroom on one of these i'm not exactly sure what we're doing yet um heating is more or less staying how it is we've got some new rads to put in um but they're doing away with, with all the stuff. So I'll have to get the drawing out and have a proper look. Uh, got a, doing away with this airing cupboard. We're having a big unvented cylinder in downstairs. Uh, I think this is the bathroom they're splitting in half. So we're gonna have two baths. So there's a wall going in the middle. I'm only going off the top of my head. I only had a quick look at the drawing. We've got, I think we've got a bath going over there with a shower above it. Bath going over with a shower above it and then toilet and basin. So obviously we've got to jiggle the soil pipe and that around. Hopefully the soil pipe all runs in that wall so we can jiggle all that in. I think, I think the air in cupboard goes and the bath gets pushed back. So I think all this comes out. Um, I think they're replacing the staircase. And then I think this bedroom stays as it is and I think that one stays as it is as well. So that's pretty much upstairs. And then downstairs is quite a bit to do as well because the kitchen and everything's moving. So that's roughly the layout. So all this gets jigged about and then sorted. Right, we're just coming downstairs. The light's a bit poor in here. I don't think there's any power. There's probably no power on in here. So this is the kitchen now. They're actually turning this into the games room. So I'm not too sure what they're doing with the walls, but we'll have to obviously disconnect all the plumbing. Uh, I think, I can't remember which room they're turning into the kitchen, so I'll have to get the layout and have a proper look. But, um, yeah, it's all being jigged around. We've got a new boiler and new cylinder going in somewhere. I think we're forming a downstairs shower room in here where all this lot gets ripped out and there's a downstairs shower room going in as well. And then, I don't know where the boiler is currently. Uh, ball is probably in here so all this lot gets ripped out as well oh this is probably the downstairs shower room so that's probably staying as a toilet new downstairs shower room but the tray needs to be on the floor ball is there that's moving so along this wall we've got cylinder boiler and then all the gubbins and then that sink goes i think they're having washing machines and tumble dryers along here like a laundry room basically that's going to be the general gist of it. So today's going to be a case of getting everything ripped out and then finding where the water turns off and going from there, really. It is freezing in here as well. Well, I just tried firing the boiler up, but I think it's run out of oil. It's coughing and splurting. It's smelling a bit. So I'll probably leave that switched off. I was going to try and get some heating on. Got all the heating controls and that under there. So obviously the hot water one, we'll have to make sure no tower rails come off it or anything like that, but um that one there will probably be hot water goes up in that pipe box in so obviously our cylinder's moving it's not upstairs anymore so it'll be dead easy to pick that primaries back up off the new boiler mains water comes in there obviously they've had a bit of an issue with one of the stop taps but that's not the end of the world we're hoping to keep water on to one of the toilets through there but it's a bit tricky because all the pipes come out the floor this is all getting Shower trailer, and I think I've already said that, and it's all generally tidied up and all new stuff. This is going to be laundry and medical room in here, so tumble dryers and washing machines and stuff across here. I don't, that sink will be coming out. They'll probably have a new sink somewhere, boiler cylinder, and then there's a second staircase. I'm lost already. Where's the staircase? That's one staircase where we went up first, and then to the other end of the house. This is going to be the new kitchen in there. So I imagine that rad will come off or kitchen in here, probably a lounge in here. And then where's the staircase? 
I'm lost. And this was the kitchen, it's going to be the games room. Uh, here's the other staircase, so there's more bedrooms up there. There's no plumbing up there though, apart from the radiators. And then this will, this will probably be the office, I imagine, I'm not sure. But yeah, strip out today anyway. If you ever come across these slide and glide programmers, them Honeywell, I think they're the ST699 off the top of my head, something like that. Uh, these are really expensive. You want to check the price on like eBay. So I always keep them. So if you've got a customer who specifically wants that programmer, you can pop it back on. So if they're working, they're worth keeping because they're like, I think they're like 240 quid second hand. Because yeah, so it's something worth keeping. Obviously, I, I'd never charge it to a customer, but they, uh, yeah, if they specifically want that programmer back, you can keep, you can put a second hand one on. All right, we've got the water off. But that tap in there, this is potentially, that could be tank fed, because it used to be a care home, so it might be that the toilets and, and uh, basins, I think he's opened the hot tap there. I think that's the cold tap. Looking at it, it's probably the wrong way around. We'll have a look what's going on anyway. We'll have a look up in the roof and stuff. That cold is off. It must be tank fed in that bathroom. So we'll have to pick that, we'll have to pick that feed back up somewhere in the roof. We can just link it out. Every basin seems to have been done hot on the right. I've got a nice, it's a Triton. Uh, not a Triton, it's a Trevi, isn't it? That Trevi, a gold. I bet somebody would be dying for one of them. But it's all going in the skip. Unfortunately. So all this, I say all this has been ripped out and this layout and it has been rejigged. Because they don't, they don't like en suites in the kids' homes for some reason. Just fair enough. It is tank fed, because they've both stopped at the same time, but that basin's not going down. You can hear it, I don't know if you can hear it on the camera, but it's all glugging. So someone will be an idea here. It must be blocked. It could, to be fair, it could be the trap in the basin, but we're, hopefully we'll be able to renew all the waste pipes and stuff anyway. This room's gonna get completely rejigged, having the extra bath and stuff in. So yeah, should be a good job this one. I'm actually really looking forward to it. The job you can get stuck into, that wall's coming out. Um, so that rad will have to come off. So we'll probably get the heating drain down next anyway, Harry, if the, if the boiler's not working. And then we will have to find a key or cut them locks off and get up in the roof and find out what's going on with the tanks. Plumber's dream, that, innit? Like, I found a load of brand new towels and uh, flux rags. I said anything, everything's just being skipped. So anything that we want, we could have, basically. They've already been through and took everything. Of any value. Drop that. But, like, towels and stuff, like, plumbers always need, so... Always good. What else we got? Another flux rag there, look. Might see if Harry wants any or Jacob. What have we got here? I don't know. A nice rug. Probably not that nice. A little minion pillar. But yeah, we're going to crack on anyway. There he is, look. We struck gold today, look. We found a load more towels. Always come in handy. Never took towels away. You never know when you're going to need them. So, my breath just carried all my gear up going to get all this stripped out hopefully the other one out as well Harry's just sorting the main out so we've got some water on and then yeah we'll crack on I reckon I've been here before looking at the state of that silicon I think that CT1 actually they've literally just obliterated that bath panel look at that beautiful job I think we can probably match that when we put it back it's just a case of getting stripped everything out as quick as we can yeah, so obviously being careful, if you can save time on your strip out, it gives you more time to put everything back. So. I've actually got my uh, Milwaukee stock, which is not the best. I don't know how it's got stuff on there actually. Should become pretty clear as we go along what stuff is anyway. A bit of water. No 
Look, he's not laughing now, is he? Trap on the waist, love to see it. Plenty of soaking on that. It's all push fit waste pipe, so I try and put everything back in solvent. The solvent's much better, in my opinion. So that's that. You probably just have to cut the silicon off and uh, see if you can get that. The legs aren't screwed down, it's just the silicon on the outside. Oh, it's quite tight now. Silicon. We'll get far behind that because I think it's just copious amounts of silicon under there. It's not screwed. And we'll, we'll either get a bar behind it and it'll move in a minute. Right, it's screwed back behind the tile. I thought it seemed quite solid. So let's get that out. Oops, screw my drill. Always the way. Can't get off there. And this probably the same over there so we'll just whip them off and get this bath out. Right that's one bath out. I'm going to do the basin and the toilet next and then we'll just cap, cap these feeds off so no debris or anything can go in, mark them all up, get this uh, shower out, rad off and then this one's all stripped out and then we'll come back probably cut the bath up. I just want to try and get everything all the sort of appliances and stuff out you know toilets and stuff today and then I can have a look at where the pipe runs and stuff are because ultimately we'll have to get hot and cold the bath, I, th I think, it's going over there in that corner, and then toilet and basin, or however it goes. But we do need to get services across there, and then the same on this side. So, I mean, there will be hot and cold over there anyway, because it backs onto the airing cupboard. I think that might be a Trevi boost. Is that the old Trevi boost? It's a Trevi. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, but that's all coming out anyway, so it's, it's really undone. If you can get the pedestal off, it just makes it a lot easier to get the pipe work. Um, on this one, on this one, the pipes are actually coming out of the wall, so it's quite tight. So we can get these cut off, get that disconnected, and that'll just lift off then. Is label up all the pipes because it was actually it was hot on the right on this one 
toilet we'll have out next and then we'll have a good good tidy up the skips are getting pretty full what what they're actually doing is um a lot of the furniture that was any good they're getting british heart foundation to come down with the lorry it was they literally just walked out and left everything obviously the bed the bed's probably aren't any good but there's they put all the good stuff in the garage and they're going to come down and sort through it for the charity because it may as well go to somebody i think they've already took all the good stuff out there's loads of chairs and stuff like that which are all perfectly good i think all these will end up going unfortunately it is a, it is a waste but yeah at least at least the good stuff's gone to charity and they, they said i can have the towels Just get this toilet took apart. PTFE take on the threads. Not really going to do a lot in that circumstance. What I try and do is split, split the system if I can. It does make them easier to carry. If it won't, I just smash it. Now that one, that one's coming apart. I can guarantee you, if you didn't want it to come apart, if you really needed it to come apart, it wouldn't. Harry's enjoying himself. Harry's enjoying himself. Did you find the hose? Did you find the hose? Put, put that cylinder in one of the bedrooms or something, Harry. Put that cylinder out the way in one of the rooms. just took that off the top of the cylinder that's the cylinder connection they put that much putty around it it's actually blocked the feed lot that's the imagine that's the hot drawer off and that's literally well it's got like a six mil hole in it now so toilet's out I'm gonna get in the shower I'm gonna start taking some of this stuff down out of the way that drain I just tip the water from the cistern in that shower and that drain is bouncing you can hear it it stinks now as well makes you wonder if that's vented properly because you obviously get that wavering or trying to draw air into so we'll have to have a look at that so i've not actually been on the outside yet and see where that goes but we need to alter the soil pipe to obviously get another toilet and bath in and stuff so it's something we need to look at it does need to be vented right i've just took the plinth off from the shower chair there's a thermalite on the wall underneath we'll disconnect that shower waste again it's all push fit all push fit waste pipe we'll try and change all this for solvent it is much better it causes a lot less issue solvent welders than push fit everything's glued and you know jointed properly and imagine that just runs over there and then bosses in along there somewhere but when we get that boxing off we can have a proper look just about getting everything disconnected right that's that shower tray all ripped up next job is rad but it came out quite well that Oh, it's just got the heating drain in, so we can take that rod right off. This, this shower is literally just held together with a wing and a prayer, I think. I think just the shower tray held it all down. So I think it, what did it have, two screws in that base? It never caused a problem though, and it never leaked. A little bit in the corner. Yeah, pass that out. Just got the tiles to take off and that rod right off next. Right, just got a lot of these pipes cut off in here. Um, that one was combined cold feed and vent to the heating. I've not actually been up in the roof, but that's what it'll be. Obviously, primary flow, primary return at the bottom. Then it only had a 15 mil vent off the hot water cylinder, which was that one, and a 22 feed out. That one was tank cold feed going to the taps. That one was mains up to the tank, and then that that one there is tank cold feed into the cylinder. So we need to do away with that tank hole feed, probably get a 22 main up here, and then we'll, we'll link it across then. 
towels have already come in handy, look. Near the wood. It's just dripping a bit out of the tanks because I can't get up in the roof yet. I know I could cut the lock off, but I'll see if there's a key first. And all this is being rejigged. So we've got three bathrooms going upstairs. Uh, but all will become clear as we start getting on. So all this is ripped out by the tiles. Harry's got... Harry's got the one in there ripped out. Oh, it's just on the other side. I don't think anyone's got a camera. But yeah, that's all ripped out. And then this, that bathroom there, that wall comes out, that bathroom moves, and there's another bathroom going along here. So you've got a row of three. So there's one bathroom, two bathrooms, three bathrooms. So it sort of comes up to the edge, edge of there. So it doesn't carry the window, but sort of takes an L pattern off there or a square. And then there's sort of three or four bed, bed, bedrooms going in there. But all will become clear as we go along. But it's just about getting everything stripped out today. Well, that's dinner time on the first day. Everything's ripped out upstairs, plumbing wise. Just got to finish getting the bath out. Skip's coming in a minute, skip change. So um, that's all done. The cylinders all out and the ensuite's all out. So this afternoon, I'm going to go downstairs and rip um, the last shower out downstairs. And then we'll give the lads a hand to get all this all this done. Two more skips coming this afternoon. We've already filled two. Did actually put ISO valves in the wall up in the building wardrobe. Not a bad idea. But th this bathroom is all coming out and it's being moved, as I've already said, across there. But all will sort of start to take shape when we sort of crack on with it. It's dripping a bit in there. This is all being jigged around anyway, so I'm not overly concerned. All the ceilings are being sorted out downstairs as well. So yeah, it should be a nice job this one. This cylinder is absolutely full of limescale. That's probably the worst one I've ever seen. I struggled to pick that up. <sighs> you can't see very well inside. I've never seen one that bad. I only just managed to drag it out. That's how cold it is. Look, look how thick the ice is. Drop it, smash it, Harry. Oh, <laughs> Shouldn't walk about, shouldn't walk about on site. Got work to do, Harry, come on. Just stripping this one out in here, and that is the shower waste, I think. So in, to, in order to get the new shower tray on the floor, this floor will have to be ripped out and try and get into that soil pipe lower down. It's a bit of a mess in here at the minute, but things will start to take shape. That basin was just boxed in, I think. That could do with moving across as well. It's actually done well to boss on the side of that pan connector. That, I think that's just a standard pan connector they've bossed on. So I'm surprised that never leaked really, but it obviously didn't. And that just shoots through there, and I imagine it just goes across onto there. Right, this one's all stripped out now. I've just temporarily looped a 10 mil feed in just, just to pick up the toilet on the other side. And there's some taps and stuff as well, so we've got welfare facilities. So as I say, we're gonna have to dig all this floor up to get that waste lower. The minute it just runs into the toilet the other side and then across that waste pipe but obviously to get that tray on the floor we're gonna to have to lower that lot my next job is to actually have a look at the soils and wastes and see what see what we're going to do with them lot upstairs right guys that is the end of day one i might actually end the video here most of the strip out is done now um we've just obviously got a few tiles and stuff to finish taking off that wall comes out um what i really need to do is to have a look at the soil pipes. That is like my next project. Soils and waste is obviously the most important thing of the job. I'm hoping to use this one soil pipe to feed all three of these toilets because it all gets jigged around, it'll all make sense. One soil, one four inch soil pipe will feed three toilets because it's going to split both ways. But ideally I need to get this on a full vent if at all possible because the stack in the other room is the vent at the minute but that one comes out. Um, all will become clear. So I always, I always like to get soils and wastes done first. So I need to get all this boxing off, have a look where that goes downstairs. And we probably have to break into it downstairs to get some extra bosses low enough to pick up the shower tray that's going over there, bath along here somewhere and bath along there. Obviously this, this waste here is probably gonna to have to be two inches. And then I'll have to see how far the others are as to regards to the size, but that bath waste will be perfect on two inch. And if we can get a vent, somewhere at this far end as well, that's gonna be a lot better. So, 
that's all gone. I'll have to jig all these walls come out. We'll jiggle all these pipes around. We'll probably get we'll end up having to put a 22 mil main up here anyway. Uh, that that bathroom goes over here, so that's all the pipes on the other side, and then this one over here comes out. But I'll have to have a look at capping that off or venting that back or something. It depends if it picks up that downstairs cloak downstairs. It, it potentially does, in which case we'll have to leave it on a vent. So yeah, it's going to be an interesting job. Let me spin the camera around. So yeah, um, it's going to be an interesting job. Hopefully, we'll be able to get some good good footage. Um, but this is more of the strip out there and just getting the, getting your bearings um, because it's sometimes the first time you've been in a building, all can seem a bit daunting. You're trying to trace pipes back and um, everything. But everything's going to be brand new in here, so it'll be perfect, and we'll get everything sorted. So yeah. Should be a good job. If you enjoyed this one, make sure you hit the like button. If you didn't hit the dislike button, and we'll see you in the next one. The next one, I don't know when I'm going to be uploading it to be honest with you. It'll be probably middle of next week. I'm working away Monday, Tuesday, and potentially Wednesday. Um, but it's going to be an interesting job, so make sure you subscribe for that anyway. Uh, it's commercial, but I'm going to try and do a mixture of both commercial and domestic on the channel just to keep things interesting. Uh, I know some people like commercial, some people like domestic, some people like both. So yeah, subscribe for that, and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one.